Congressman Devin Nunes, ranking member of the House Intel Committee. Good morning to you. Hey, great to be with you this morning. morning. Good to have you on. What's your reaction to what's happening in Georgia and the implications that it has for the country? Today's a big day. Well, look, this is a big day. All of Republicans across the country and conservatives are counting on people in Georgia to get out and go vote. We're going to need a big turnout on Election Day. Uh, hopefully that's going to happen because the ramifications of a loss here, I think, are, are multiple. One is that uh, this will justify the election, that they'll use this against Donald Trump. Uh, they'll say that there was no voter fraud uh, if the Republicans don't win today. And then secondly, of course, you have the balance of power in the Senate. Having 52 seats, controlling the gavels, everything that I've worked on over the last four years to expose the malfeasance and the corruption here in this city, uh, we won't have the Senator Ron Johnson's or the Senator Grassley's that will be able to subpoena people. And just think about how bad this is going to be, how they could cover this up, uh, for example, if they get rid of the Durham uh, investigation in Connecticut. It would be a travesty. Uh, I hear you. And uh, do I also know there's a lot of Republicans, 100 plus? Uh, you're amongst them, and on the Senate side, uh, about a dozen, with Ted Cruz uh, leading. Uh, they want a 10-day pause to examine what happened in certain battleground states. But a lot of allies of the president are not on board. Senator Tom Cotton, uh, Senator Braun, uh, Senator yeah. Portman. They're saying, no, this is Liz not Cheney. the place. Senator Bill, uh, uh, Senator Lee of Utah, who helped the president during, uh, during impeachment. Do you understand their point of view that this should this is just should be a formality? Yeah, so we are actually when I leave here right now, I'm going to walk downstairs uh, and underneath the Capitol uh, and all the Republicans are getting together in the House to try to see if we can get on the same page. So we're probably going to have a two to three hour meeting here. I don't know if it's possible because Republicans are independent thinking. You have people that are kind of on all sides of this issue. I think it makes a lot of sense to try to answer some of these questions that are out there. For example, I saw earlier on your show these these ballots that just got pulled out in suitcases. Now, look, I'm from California. Uh, we sit and count ballots for, for a month afterwards. It's a horrible process. They mail ballots to everyone. But I've never seen ballots being brought out in suitcases and then and then ran through a machine. And I will tell you, uh, you know, a lot of people made a lot to do with this, you know, supposed leaked uh, phone call with the Washington Post, like they always do bombshells. And, you know, and of course, we're hearing for the hundredth time, this is Watergate. Well, what I found on there is I, the Secretary of State from Georgia couldn't answer the president when he was asking, where did those ballots come from? What do you know? Who were the people handling them? Those are the types of questions that I think people in my area, in the San Joaquin Valley of California, right. they want to know those answers. And I think we should all want to have free and fair elections and believe that our institutions are going to survive so that people respect the outcomes. Listen, uh, congratulations, because I understand yesterday the President of the United States presented you with the Presidential Medal of Freedom for pursuing the Russia hoax at great personal risk. It has not been easy for you, has it? No, but it was very, very nice. Um, we had a nice ceremony there. And, and what I said uh, yesterday in the ceremony with the president was, first of all, it's my constituents who really get to uh, receive this award because I represent them. Right. Uh, but also, it was the staff uh, that worked on this. You know, a lot of the staff were attacked also sure. that were on this Russia team. And then, of course, the Republican members of the Intel Committee. I was, I'm the leader of, the, of it, but it takes a whole group and a team in order to expose uh, what you know, really is the big, biggest political scandal in American history that we still haven't seen the, uh, that justice has been served yet. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us and congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for being, uh, thanks for having me.